What's going on, my friends? Teddy Rycroft here uh, with Lush Love and uh, with the Be In Love lyric video and music video coming out soon. I thought I'd take some time to just break down how I made this, this, this uh, song from start to finish because I produced it, um, recorded the lyrics and um, mixed a good amount of it. The other half mixed by my friend Skayron. So loud! Shout out my boy Skayron, Chris. Uh, let's dive right into it. I made this beat on Ableton Live. I made it actually a few years ago. I just finished watching Incredibles 2 of my family and I, I just felt like I wanted to make something like hopeful and optimistic but still like fun and like energetic. So I started off with this aqueous pad. It sounds like this. You know, I just feel like it's kind of got this like underwater kind of like moody energy but it's still got this like lightheartedness and uplifted kind of spirit to it you know um and then i found this weird kind of bass sound that i i thought was rather strange but i, I really liked it very unique you know it, it got it got it got heart you know what i mean very abnormal It's like the sliding and it just kind of feels very organic you know what i mean which is kind of what i was going for with lush love and being love um and then of course you got the fat bass you know and then and then those two bases together really just create kind of like a very like Relatable sound, but it's also very very like a little bit different. You know what I mean? It's just kind of cool. It sounded cool to me Yeah, and then the, the next element I added was this this these percussive uh, claps and like this rim and this guiro which together again just kind of give it that like lush like tropical like almost like tribal kind of sound that I think is just really wavy You know it just kind of sets the scene just sets the groove you know what I mean puts it in motion right boom right and then when the when the um Beat drops, I obviously got a kick snare, um, a hi-hat. Um, I'm gonna play the kick and the snare and this tom that I threw in there. Um, again, with these percussive elements, I want it to be very, still very open, you know what I mean? I'm really inspired by Timbaland and how he kind of has these elements just coming in at different spots and just creating this groove while at the same time kind of leaving a lot of space open. So here's the kick and the snare and the tom. So you can already see how the groove is kind of being established, but it's still very like sparse, you know? The hi-hats took a really long time to program. Um, I got about five or six layers of them because I would just kind of add a little piece here and a little piece there, almost like words or small sentences coming together to formulate the, the whole thought of these hi-hats. Because again, like they really are filling in the gaps, but it's got to be tastefully done, if you know what I mean. So here's the hi-hats by themselves. kind of weird um, but then when you throw all the uh, percussive elements together um, it really starts to, to come together um, that's pretty much it for this beat um, I try to keep it as simple as possible the one thing though is when the beat drops I took that initial Aquarius kind of weird pad and I threw in some saturation and some higher frequencies to kind of give it a little more life. It's 
got this like epic kind of sound. You know what I mean? And then um, that's really it for the beat. That's really it. Please look forward for the uh, lyric video and music video coming out very soon. That's all I got to say. I will catch y'all later. See ya.